What's good everybody? Welcome back to the Lazy Channel. Today we're checking out some, I don't know, bad tattoos or something. Dumb tattoos, worse tattoos, something about terrible tattoos. Oh, this leaking. Got cheese it's on deck. It's snack time, baby. Let's get into it. Justin Bieber tramp stamps. To my I'm sorry, hold on. Your old big ass getting I love Justin Bieber on your back. What made you think that was a good idea? You was a grown man and you got I love Justin Bieber tat. Right? Oh, hell. If this is what we dealing with, God damn. We count 13 of the dumbest tattoos people ever got. Ooh, we can't wait to make fun of some dumb old people. Yeah, yeah, what's what up, YouTube that? fans? Spring of the one in the building. How we doing today? Today, guys, I got some crazy new content for your face. So here we go. Cartoon guy. Stand aside. There's a badass in the building. This unique hand tattoo is supposed to resemble a UFC fighter glove but looks uncannily like a terrible life decision. That shit looks stupid. Like, it'd be different if it was done by someone that actually knows how to give a good tattoo. It would still just be a dumb tattoo because who the f is getting a UFC glove tattooed on their hand? And that's just dumb. You know, someone that actually knows how to give a good tattoo might be able to make it look okay, but that, it looked like you got like a skin disease. Like it looked like your skin is like, I don't know, bro. Recipient of this tattoo is giving the thumbs up as if to show that he or she is 100% stoked with their crafty hand art. Ooh, you a dumbass person. Number 12. What would it take for you to get Justin Bieber's name tattooed on your body? In an effort to raise money for charity, Jamie Young of Manchester, England got Bieber's name tattooed across his lower back for a thousand and two hundred great British pounds. Now I can't really say nothing because he did it for charity. But only a thousand thousand dollars is cool. Bro, I would not do that for a thousand dollars. Hell no. Number 11. Either this is a terribly tattooed portrait of a baby or daddy's wife as an alien, or it's just a really ugly looking tattoo. The guy who got this tattoo was obviously- That looked like that one alien talking about- E.T. Oh no. What the f*** is that? <laughs> Bro, that looks terrible. Even the letters look bad. Like, everything about it is just bad. It looked like that baby's face got ran over by a car. Like, <laughs> Very bad. proud of his little girl, but probably isn't so proud of the ink he got to show the world. For all we know, his daughter might actually be a bodiless, angry looking gray ball. That is it looked so just ugly. like that. In which case, hey, great job. Number 10. Celebrity tattoos seem to always be a great idea, especially when they're massive head tattoos. This guy wanted everyone to, to see how much he loves Nicki Minaj, even when he can't see it. Nicki Minaj? I for sure don't look like no Nicki Minaj. That just looks so bad. And you got it on the back of your head? Oh my God. The provocative image of Minaj squatting in a G-string seamlessly blends into his patchy scalp, cementing his obsessive fandom onto his skull. If you didn't tell me that was Nicki Minaj, I would not know who that was. Number nine. Who needs professionally trained tattoo artists what operating in sterile conditions? When you can get a shady dude in the backyard to scrawl band logos onto your skin. The That's wonky flames, crooked lines, and the inflamed and know nothing about no band. skin. This tattoo really has nothing good about it. It looks like you got that tattoo that a crack shack. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, it's so infected. Ugh. 2008, in the middle of the design, to show which year the world's worst tattoo took place. Number eight. Want to show the world you're an incredible weirdo? Get a naked tattoo on your eyebrow. The tattoo appears to show a tiny man holding onto his butt while staring the tattooed man in his eyeball. The dark shadows Bro, surrounding the long- What did he have to be going through to be like, I want that tattoo on my face? Let alone, just on my body in general. That looks terrible. What even is that? Oh, no, oh, no, bro. Naked alien man really make it feel like an authentic piece of art. Such a beautiful piece of art. Number seven. There's gotta be a pretty I dropped a Jesus. story behind this masterpiece. Is it a crab? Is it Ryan Gosling? Is it Ryan Gosling with crabs? I mean, I'm a kind of Five second rule. It's fairly bizarre. It isn't clear why this tattoo exists. I don't know what that is, but it's the best tattoo that's been on here. Well, it's not good by any means, but if I had to pick out of any of the tattoos so far, I think I would pick to get that one. The person responsible for getting this tattoo has absolutely what is no that? chill. Not only did they get a design illustrating the plot of the movie Human Centipede, they added two more designs on each cheek, just in case the specifics of this horrifying movie were not quite clear enough. To top it all off, the designs are placed delicately under the person's tribal tramp stamp. Number five. I don't even know what that was, man. Had enough of that awkward sitcom dad from the 2000s. I'm the kill you. Says, I'm gonna kill you, Ray Romano, in angry capital letters. Apparently, the lower back is a preferred spot for ridiculous people to get dumb tattoos. It also seems that apparently not everybody loves Raymond. Number four. Forget the vegetable fumes. This picture makes us want to cry. On the one hand, it's actually pretty well done for a realistic tattoo of an onion inside an armpit. 
On the other hand, why would you want the world why? to see a pungent vegetable why? every time you reach for the stars? That's just nasty, man. And it really reminds me of the exact opposite of an Old Spice commercial. Why would you do that? If you're going to get a tattoo, you might as well get your boyfriend's name tattooed across the entirety of your face. A girl known as Lesia apparently let her tattoo artist boyfriend ink his name across her bare cheeks. Hopefully their relationship lasts as long as the permanent black ink I'm pretty sure y'all can read my mind. I ain't even gonna say nothing about this. Like, I I'm not even gonna say nothing. Like, face. Yeah. Her boyfriend's whole face is modified and tattooed as well, with stretched ears and What the fuck is that, bro? Damn, what is that? Motherfucker looks like a bearded dragon. Number two. It's just not enough for some people to listen to their hero music this. This or see like them in viral. concert. This young woman got a tattoo of the singer Drake's name on her forehead. Probably saw that timeless revolutionary hit that hotline blink, yeah, 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 hotline blink. I don't know uh, the song at all. He got Drake tattooed on her forehead. Like what? Oh my God. Did Drake ever even like acknowledge her? Drake has for sure seen it 1 million percent, but has Drake, you know, ever reached out and be like, hey, thanks for getting my name tattooed on your forehead. <laughs> Imagine your mom getting a tattoo of your favorite band on her neck, just so you could get front row tickets to a concert. This is literally what one woman did in a local radio competition so that her seven-year-old daughter could get up close to her favorite band, the Jonas Brothers. I mean, I guess she's trying to be a good mom or whatever, get a little girl some tickets to see the Jonas Brothers. But I don't know, getting the Jonas Brothers tattooed on your neck? Like, the fuck? Front row tickets might give you a single night of fun that your daughter probably won't even remember, but at least a terrible neck tattoo is for life. And why would you do that, the Jonas Brothers? She's only seven years old. Not like she's really gonna remember that at all. I mean, come on now, don't do that to yourself. People nowadays, man, it's so stupid. Now those were all definitely terrible tattoos, but I don't think any of them compare to this guy that's on the screen right now. I don't know where he's at. You see him though. He got Fortnite, the Fortnite logo. I don't even think it's their logo anymore. I think it's their old logo. Tattooed above his eyebrow, like on his forehead. Fortnite, just blasted across your face. Fortnite. <laughs> Anyways, if you're watching right now, you have to like and subscribe because this is the end of the video and I know you're bored right now. I'm not doing nothing. So click the video that's in the corner. It's my most recent video. You're gonna love it. I appreciate y'all for watching. I love y'all. Ta-ta. I used to be 14 in the crib trying to be a trap nigga. Now I got me some floor seeds at the Game trying to go bad, nigga. Got me feeling like Spike Lee on the woods, smoking on pad, nigga. Drunk texting my wifey, so I know I'll get a text bad, nigga. 45 on my white tee, used to have the shit up on the dash, nigga. Got a lot on my psyche, on my mind, I ain't talking hats, nigga. Like I said on that Syphy, when I train, I tend to overlap, niggas. Where them niggas wanna fight me, we grown, I don't really scratch, nigga. Been through a lot, I'm forgetting to pray, yeah. Like, what do I say, yeah? I know what I want when I get it today, yeah. But I've been afraid, yeah. That maybe I want, I'm no longer afraid, yeah. I do what I have to. That I never react to You mad that I passed you Them hoes go